Hi there guys, it's Danny from Orchid Nature. Awesomeness news today. I just got my order from Schwerter. I told you about it in a different episode. And here it is. It's a huge box. I really... There you go. It's so huge. So, I'm gonna unbox this with you guys. I'm gonna take out the orchids. I'll do this as short and painless as I can. Uh, and I will edit the video, don't worry. But there are a huge amount of orchids here. Very many different species. So yeah, can't wait to see what's here and uh, I'll take you along for the ride. Okay, so in the meantime, I got myself a cameraman. Say hi, cameraman. Hi. Okay, that's my mom. Say hi to my mom. Okay, I know what this is. I know this is a psychopsis and I pray to God the flower. Oopsie. The flower is okay. Oh my goodness, exciting. So here's the psychopsis. This is, this is how it looks like. And yeah, I'll have to unpack this. I'll edit, I'll come back. And here he is. This is a Psychopsis and it's in bud, which is nice because flowers wouldn't last on the road. I have to unpack this thing. Anyway, I'll do a, a, a video with everything after I unpack them. But yeah, this was the most important and crucial thing, which is the actual uh, bud. And I think it looks rather nice. Hopefully everything will be okay. Yay, this is the first orchid. Okay, before we get some more orchids out, these are the heat packs, guys. Uh, they're not heated right now, but they're not very, very cold either. Anyway, the heat packs won't last too much. Um, probably two days or something. But anyway, yeah. Um, it did have a heat pack, in, in case you were wondering. Okay, let's get out another orchid. Okay, you know what this is? This is my friend's Phalaenopsis orchid. Um, so yeah, this is not mine. Let's open it up and see how it looks like. Okay, so this is my friend's Phalaenopsis called Josephina. Looks really nice. It's supposed to be fragrant. Um, looks really good, but um, yeah, it's a bit moist, this thing. So I'm just going to put it in front of a fan right now to be sure there's no um, other damage. Also, the roots look really nice. So yeah, this is my friend's Phalaenopsis orchid. Okay, from now on, they're only my orchids. My, my friend only bought one more orchid. So, I think we have two dendrobiums here. Let's open them up. Okay, guys, this is a dendrobium. And it appears to have maybe some flowers here. So, I just want to unpack this. So, what we have here were some buds. Uh, but they didn't fare so well, it appears, during transport. But also this, and I think, I, I don't even know where this came from. Maybe it's a bonus, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be broken from anywhere, to be honest. But yeah, it's another baby, it seems. So yeah, I know what this is. I'm just going to tell you in a second. This is a Dendrobium, Dendrobium Bracteosum. It has really nice... Um, purple flowers which are really nice and fragrant but unfortunately I don't think these buds will make it I really don't but it's it's okay it was inevitable usually flowers don't necessarily make it during transport okay guys this is a very nice plant it's a shambo uh, Schomburgiana wait Schomburgia thompsoniana now this little thing which is not little at all, it's a huge thing. Produces a super massive long flower spike, but the flowers are really great. I think I'm gonna post some flowers for you guys in the corner of the screen so you can see. And this actually looks very, very nice, very nice. I will have to repot everything anyway, uh, but yeah, I really like this one. Okay, so this should be a Paphinia, Paphinia Herrera, there she is. Uh, really soaking wet. I will have to put all these guys in the front of my ventilator of my fan because it's super super wet and I don't want any fungal stuff attacking them. But yeah, it looks really really good actually. It has some new growing tips here and there. So yeah, and I think this is a new growth perhaps or a flower. I don't know. We shall see. But anyway, it's um, unfortunately super wet. And in cold weather, uh, yeah, not so great, but I will place this in front of my fan. Okay, guys, so this is probably the, yes, Epidendrum Pseudepidendrum or something like this. This is a very cool plant. I'm not sure why it's so red. I know that Epidendrums are prone to redness when they encounter sun, and this one takes a lot of sun. 
but I do see a lot of new root tips here and some new growths, which is awesomeness. And uh, oh yeah, it's uh, it's nice, but I do hope um, it's not too wet. I will have to do a lot of repotting for these guys. Anyway, enjoy the flower. You can see it on the screen right now. Okay, this is something really funny. This is a Arangus rotosticta, which is a very tiny plant that needs to be mounted, and I will mount it. But look how tiny it is. It has lovely new roots. But anyway, okay, let's see what's in here, actually. Okay, so here we have a Renanthera monachica. This is a sort of a pretty similar to a Vanda orchid. And I must admit, I was expecting something larger, but it can bloom at a pretty, pretty um, young age. It does get huge, this plant. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this is blooming size, to be honest. I'll have to research. But anyway, it's it's a beautiful plant, and you can see the picture on the side of the screen. And of course, this is the Arangus rotostricta, which will be mounted, and I will make a video for you guys, because I got myself a mount as well. So here we have two lovely orchids, which do look pretty, pretty good. Okay, guys, I have no idea what this is. I cannot tell, but I'll tell you in a little while. Let me get this paper. This is a Dendrobium Fleckery. If you can believe, I paid 5 euros for this guy. It was at a discount. Look how big it is. Very happy with this guy. Everybody will need to be repotted, obviously. But yeah, look at it. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay, I think I know what this is. It has a blooming spike, but I am not sure if it's going to make it. It has two blooming spikes. I'm not sure if this one will make it through transport. This is Arangus stylosa. This will bloom really, really nice, but I really don't think the flower spike survived. Maybe this one, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, roots seem to be fine. I will mount this one actually because um, yeah it just goes better if it's mounted but this one I'm not sure if it's gonna develop anymore I really don't think so but anyway we shall see it's a beautiful plant it only smells at night it's a it's a fragrant orchid so yeah okay I really know what this is this is a sort of a bulbophyllum I'll show you the name on the screen it has a new growth here as you can see um, but yeah I have to see if this yellowish color is okay on the orchid anyway i do have to dry these orchids very very well anyway so yeah that's a sort of a bulbophyllum which looks really really nice okay guys this is a huge one and i'm not sure if these are new growths or flower spikes and if they survived they don't necessarily look like i i don't even know it's a maxillaria rufensis something which smells like vanilla when it blooms. It's a huge, huge plant. I'm really happy with it, but I do hope these growths will be okay. I'm not sure what this red color means. It's either some cold damage, either sun. I'm not sure. We'll find out in a few days, but look at the size of this thing. It's huge. Alrighty, guys. This is the famous Angrecum sesquipedale orchid, which is also known as Darwin's orchid. And it does not have a flower spike, but it's okay. It does have a baby! Yay! I'm really happy about this one. It's huge. Really hope I can make it flourish in my environment. Yeah, looking really, really nice. I love it. And the last one, it's a Gongora Leucochilla, which I think has a flower spike right here. I pray to God that it still develops out after this transport in cold conditions. It's a beautiful, beautiful plant. I love it. And I really hope this is a flower spike. Um, this one actually was advertised as one year for um, becoming mature. But as you can see, it really is mature. It's a mature plant. I think I paid for it 5 euros or something like that. Or 9. I don't know. It, it was a, a small price for what it is. I love it. Really nice. Also, I bought this, which is a cork for mounting my Arangus orchids. So this is what I'm gonna use this for. I also have some more uh, wood that I might mount on. So yeah, okay, these are my orchids. I will settle them and I will do another um, filming with all of them because I just lost count. I hope it's everything, everything is here. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, here we are. I'll just show them to you once again. Um, 
I hope I get everybody. And uh, this one, actually, I think it, it didn't came from this one. I don't see the breaking point anywhere. I don't think it was mounted or uh, planted in the soil. I think it's just something from another one that just fell in this package. I don't know. But yeah, I got another uh, little plant out of this Bracteosum. Uh, all in all, I am really glad about some of them. Some One of them is tinier than I expected, and this is this girl. But some of them are huge. They were not blooming size, but they are. <laughs> so yeah, surprise there. I really like how they look, actually. Um, I do have a few concerns for some. I don't know if this epidendrum has some cold damage or it's because of the sun. It usually gets red in the sun, but a few more days will tell me. Um, okay, these are uh, a part of them. Here we have a few more. This is the oranges that I really want to mount. Uh, it's This is so, so tiny. I wasn't expecting it, but um, these types of plants are really small anyway. Um, so yeah, we have a few more here. I really like this guy. I did see something worrying. Okay, if you see something like this on your leaves, cut it. Just cut this part right away. This is black rot. It spreads like hell. So yeah, just cut it. Uh, also, I'm a bit concerned about this guy. I'll see tomorrow. This one I'm so happy with. I cannot believe it. It's huge. It's humongous. Alrighty. Um, okay. Here we have a few more. This will go to my friend today. It's a lovely Phalaenopsis. Uh, really happy about the Gongora as well. It was at a discount or something. It shouldn't be blooming size, but it's huge. It really is humongous and I think this is a flower spike. I'm not sure if it's gonna make it though because of the transport. Also, I'm happy about the Angrecum. Has a little baby here. Looks good. And the Psychopsis. Uh, I really need to repot, but it looks really nice, and I'm not sure if this flower spike, if this bud will make it, usually during transport, and in this cold conditions, they might have some uh, bud blast and stuff like that. Anyway, all in all, I'm happy, and I will keep you updated with their evolution. Um, but tomorrow I will have a repotting day. I will repot everything, because I did notice on one of them some snails. Not funny. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, nothing like that in my collection. No more snails. I will disinfect everybody and I will treat them and I'll see how it goes. But you guys, let me know if you want me to um, actually film the repottings. I do have stuff in mind. I do want to mount the oranguses. I do want to um, um, pot stuff in a certain way. So if you guys are interested in seeing the short version of repotting these guys, let me know. Hopefully I will post this today, Friday. Um, and yeah, let me know uh, tonight if you want to see repotting videos for these guys or if you're just bored of repotting videos. So alrighty, yay! This is my Valentine's present from Louis. I'm so happy. And yeah, I'll keep you updated. Hopefully everybody will be okay. Um, if I encounter problems, I will try to resolve them and keep you updated, tell you how to resolve them. For now, I just want to cut that leaf tip. Leaf tip. That's the only thing that worries me at this point. So, okay, this was it. Uh, hopefully it wasn't boring. And thank you for joining. If you want to see other videos, don't forget to subscribe. And you'll stay up to date with everybody. And uh, yeah, if you want to leave me questions or anything, just leave me a comment and visit orchinature.com for our community and other goodies. I'll see you next time. Bye!